talk about vitamin A. What is vitamin A? So vitamin A, it's we have inactive vitamin A. In, it's, yeah, I'm recording here. Sorry, thought you were rehearsing. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. Now in this video, I'm going to explain how low vitamin A and low vitamin D, how that affects the thyroid gland. Now, vitamin A, there's two types of vitamin A. There's inactive vitamin A, and that gets converted to active vitamin A. So, with the help of the thyroid gland. So, inactive vitamin A, that's the beta carotene. Now, we take in inactive vitamin A through the vegetables, through our vegetable products. That gets converted with the help of the thyroid gland to active vitamin A, and that's retinol. Now, we also take in active vitamin A through our animal products. This is your uh, grass-fed butter. This is your cod liver oils, okay? Again, with the help of the thyroid gland. Also, it helps thyroid hormone being activated T to T4 and T3. So it helps with the conversion of inactive T4 to active T3. That's also one of the uses of the benefits of vitamin A. Now, vitamin D, the thing about vitamin D, it regulates the immune system. And 90% of low thyroid patients have Hashimoto's disease. Now, what's Hashimoto's disease? Hashimoto's disease, it's not a thyroid disease. It's actually an immune system disease that your immune system is attacking its own self. Now, Hashimoto's in particular, your immune system is attacking the thyroid tissue. And 90% of low thyroid patients have Hashimoto's. Now, with Hashimoto's, because it's attacking your thyroid, you have high levels of infl inflammation, and research has shown that most Hashimoto's uh, patients have very low levels of vitamin D. Vitamin D is also, it's not a vitamin. It's a pro-hormone, which means that that starts the cascade of making other hormones, whether it be cholesterol to the adrenal system, okay, or testosterone, the estrogen, the progesterones. We need vitamin D to form those hormones. So if you have low vitamin D counts, this is where um, you're going to have low uh, sex drive, this is where you're going to have brain fog, okay, because it's a pro-hormone. Now, if you have low level levels of vitamin D, this is where inflammation skyrockets. So it's good to help lower inflammation. Now, how does all this happen? Very important organ, it's called the gallbladder. The gallbladder is a little tiny organ underneath the liver. Now, the function of the gallbladder is to concentrate the bile that's made from the liver. And the bile, when we eat fat, okay, it breaks down the fats for absorption. Now, the important thing about breaking down the fats is we're looking for the vitamins. Vitamins A, D, E, and K. So we need vitamin A, we need vitamin D for thyroid function, okay? So what happens if we have a bad diet, okay? Bad diet, your standard American diet. This is a standard American diet where you have too much fat in your diet, okay? If you have too much fat in your diet, you're overtaxing the gallbladder. It can't break down all those fatty substances, so you have malabsorption of vitamins A, D, E, and K. Okay, we need A and D for thyroid. So when you're taking in too much fat, we're overtaxing the gallbladder. It's not breaking down the fat-soluble vitamins. This is where you, then this is where you get low thyroid symptoms. Or you may be on a low-fat diet. You may be taking in too little fat. Okay, too little fat. So you're not, still, you're not absorbing enough vitamin A, enough vitamin D for thyroid function, okay? Also, another thing is location. Location is kind of unusual because statistics have proven that the closer to the equator, the more natural vitamin D uh, and vitamin A you get, okay? We get vitamin D from the sun. Now, if you live more north or south of the equator, you get less sunlight. Now, remember, vitamin D is absorbed through our skin. And typically, during the winter months, we're not out a lot. So, unless you're supplementing with a vitamin D um, supplement, you're not getting enough vitamin D levels in our, in our blood because we're indoors all day. So, you have low vitamin D levels, that's going to affect the thyroid. So, you have vitamin A, vitamin D, the gallbladder is important with the thyroid function. And if you have a bad gallbladder, if you're not taking enough vitamin A and vitamin D, this is where you get low thyroid symptoms. Okay? So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hello, this is Dr. Juwad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching.